What's up you guys, Steven here for Off The Shelf Movie Night to talk to you about physical media, about Blu-rays and 4Ks and even some DVDs sometimes, the way we like to collect and own our movies and TV shows on a f piece of physical media that we can share and loan out and watch as often as we want without any worry of updates, edits, or changes. So today is a big day, I'm super excited, got some really great pickups to share with you, some stuff I've been waiting for for months some pre-orders that have finally arrived they all have Royal Mail stickers on them because they were imported so this is a big expensive day for me and I'm very excited to share it with you if you haven't subscribed please do so so you can stay in touch with me and see what I've got coming up. I have coming I can't even talk you guys I'm so excited but you can see what I have coming up I have a lot of pickups coming some uh, bonus feature breakdowns some reviews a lot of things coming physical media wise so give me a subscribe down there uh, if you like this video, like it and share it, and that would be really appreciated. But most of all, hit me in the comments. Tell me what you think of these pickups. Let me know if you got any of them, too. So, spoilers, I already kind of opened this one, so let me just show you real quick. Here's the stack of stuff. All right, it's a little misleading because my friend Zach, who I guess will probably be in one of these videos at some point because he collects too, um, not to the degree that I do, but he does, um, he wanted one of these releases in particular, so there's two copies in here for him. So let's get into the first one. I already torn this one open because I just couldn't stand it. Now, I haven't actually opened the release though, and that is the 4K aero video release of crash so if you don't know crash I've got my trusty tool here for opening uh, it is a 1996 film directed by David Cronenberg stars James Spader and Holly Hunter so the basic story is this uh, James Spader's character gets into a car accident and he's a TV director so there is a little meta stuff happening here which I love I love when that stuff is is well done in a uh, film so he discovers uh, an underground community of people who associate you know sex with car crashes and he you know uses this underground community as a way to maybe reinvigorate sex life with his his wife played by Holly Hunter <clears throat> So, I don't want to get too much more into it. It is quite the disturbing little film. There's the back. If you want to really zoom in and read up, and look at that stack of bonus features. I am so excited. Criterion has a domestic release of this. And I believe the Criterion release um, is a Blu-ray that's taken from the same 4K scan. But why not have the 4K? Why didn't we get the 4K? Luckily, at this point in time, 4Ks are still all region. I know there is a push to try and region lock them and that is happening in some places so there's the inside we get some disc art there there's a flyer here for uh, a tale of two sisters now that is exciting a arrow video release of this film has me pumped I will be pre-ordering that for sure if they do a, a really nice special edition I don't love these black cases from from Arrow. Um, I mean, generally I do. I like them better than the blue Blu-ray cases, but I, I, it feels kind of basic. You know, I haven't gotten the pitch black release yet, but I felt the same when I saw it. It doesn't feel special. Um, let's see. We do, of course, have uh, re uh, the uh, original artwork here. So I don't know which I like better. Um, maybe the original artwork I like better. I mean, it's not that I don't like this. So let's go with the original artwork. So I'm just going to slip that in here. But anyway, I will forewarn you, this is David Cronenberg. If you're not familiar with Cronenberg's work, you are really missing out. But when he's at his best, Cronenberg is, is kind of focusing on body horror. So there's a lot going on in, in this in this film. I mean, this was him like just crushing it, storytelling wise and visuals and everything. This is a, a classic film, but 
Not for everybody. Not for the faint of heart. You have been warned by me. So that's it. So anyway, again, ton of bonus features. I can't wait to evaluate the quality of this 4K. I will uh, report back to you on that. So there you go. All right. Now we're going to save the big box for last. I know it's not that big. It is, you know, hopefully I didn't just show you my address. Here's the uh, next package we're going to dig into here. Let's see what we got. We have, oh, okay. Not what I anticipated in this one. There's the two copies of Climax. All right, so. Climax. If you don't know Climax, it is a Gaspar No film from 2018. Got the tool here. Uh, the story is very simple. Basically, it is a dance troupe having a celebration from a beautiful performance. Uh, everything is going great. You know, uh, it's kind of fun the way the, the film is done. Uh, it's not one shot, a uh, one shot film, but it looks like it is. The the, the cuts are very well hidden. The camera just sort of floats around the celebration between conversations. You know, there's internal drama, so there's some moments of levity. There's some, you know, you know, melodrama. It, it's all going along as you might anticipate that kind of celebration to go. Well, someone has spiked the sangria with LSD. As everyone has the sangria, the night goes really dark, really surreal, and shit gets crazy okay I'm just gonna say shit gets crazy um, this uh, actually stars um, Sofia Butella who you might know from other films including the terrible terrible Mission Impossible movie um, there's the front and there is a domestic release of this but this release is better because check the extras I'm hoping maybe the scan is better, but my, my bet is it's the same scan as what's over here, and that's fine. I just wanted all these bonus features, because we got nothing like this in, in, to the level of this in, as far as bonus features. And I'm going to do a bonus features breakdown on these. This is just an unboxing, so I'm not going to get deep into the bonus features of, of these releases now. There's too much. The, they each deserve more attention, and we'll go through it all together later. Anyway, there's the discard. See, this already feels like a more premium release, even though there's no slip or anything. And there's the original art, which you may have seen. I'm not going to pull it all the way out because I'm actually I already know I'm keeping their new artwork here. Definitely prefer uh, the new art. It's not that the the, uh, the previous art is bad. I just I prefer what they did. And and this one, you know, is being kind of a pain in the butt to get back in place here. Because you know, I, I, are you a stickler for the artwork? You know, the, the, the disc. You know, not wanting to mess up your artwork. on Because I'm maybe probably overly picky. So there it is, climax. This movie again, not for the faint of heart. Like I, I made a joke with Zach, talking about this. I said we're going to hell because we have. I mean, probably me worse because we have these. And wait till you see what else is coming. This big box. Yeah, so I, you know, I already have like two really twisted movies myself here. Okay, so we ordered this box back at the first of the year. This was a pre-order, of course. Um, been eagerly anticipating it. Now the good news is actually I think about a week early. Um, so there's that. That's a little bonus for us. this and trying to you know let you look seriously through me but not show my address if that's a doable there we go and we got it okay very nicely packed extra padding there to be reused for eBay flips and let's open this baby up there's two of these also because we both got this one Okay, so what do we have included here? I don't know what this is exactly. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at this later. This is a lot of text. Got two of them, got one each here. I'm sure maybe it's promo material because we got flyers. And uh, if you didn't know, this is uh, what we got is from Indicator. This will be my very first Indicator pickup. 
indicator to me looks very much on the level or beyond what you would expect from Criterion. Their stuff um, tends to be a little more um, like well, Criterion ish, or maybe uh, the Arrow Academy type stuff. You know, some really uh, retro like classics and stuff. But they've been digging into some horror lately, and this. Oh my gosh, I can already tell you it's stunning. Irreversible. Let me see if I can get you. Pull it back. There you go. So, let me carefully open this up. All right, there we go. Just dig into it. All right, so we've got the indicator uh, sort of J card here. They do the half J card. Very much like the second sight J cards that you often get. So I'll show you the back. Irreversible is a 1996 film, I believe, by Gaspar No. Also, this is another Gaspar No. film. Um, I'll just take the J card off here. It's only this tiny piece. I don't save those. So it tells the story of a couple who are trying to go out on uh, just a fun night, you know, going to clubs and that kind of thing. And, um, how do I do this? I mean, it's a simple story. It's basically, um, the couple, the woman gets horribly raped, and the husband goes out to seek revenge on the person who did that. Now, it's a great companion piece to Climax in the way that the film was made. It uses a similar sort of floating camera technique to sort of float you in and out of the story. This one, I, I'm, I, the thing about both of these films is it can be quite nauseating. So you have to kind of be ready for that. Um, yeah, this this movie's hard to talk about. So it's told in... I don't know if I want to spoil it. It is told in a very unique way. It's, it's a very basic story, story you've heard before, but the way that this film is told story unfolds is in such a way that it has more impact than most of these types of stories, revenge stories do. Um, the one thing I will say, because I think it is fair to warn you, that for me, it is one of the most difficult to watch rape sequences I've ever seen put on film. It's not gratuitous. It is disgusting. It's torturous. And it's epic. It's long. It's if this is something that bothers you, you need to stay away from this film. Now, if it's something you could take, uh, cinematically, it's a journey that's really worth taking. It's powerful. It's moving. It's beautifully executed. But it is a hard movie to watch. So, so there's a front. I love this artwork. This is very impactful artwork. Very representative of the film. We don't even have the name of the film on the cover, and I love that. And again, the back, extensive bonus features. There's different cuts of the film. Lots of stuff to, to unpack here. I will be revisiting this with a bonus features breakdown. And there's the inside. There's the spine. So let's see what's on the inside. So first thing we have here is a poster. And uh, I know this is a pretty common thing to, to get in these sets, but I don't, just don't see myself putting an irreversible poster up in my house. I mean, I got a poster for I Spit on Your Grave, too, and I'm not putting that one up either. I just don't see it happening. It's a beautiful poster, though. So, again, Monica Bellucci, Vince Cassell. Very, very thick paper, too. Very nice poster. It's double-sided, but it's got the same art on both sides. Um, so I don't really understand the point of that. You would think we've gotten some kind of alt artwork. Now we have an epic Perfect Bound book here. Oh, my gosh. This thing is huge. Full of um, essays and uh, write-ups. And one, one of the things that I'm super interested to read is the critical response section because this movie was both ripped apart and critically loved. I mean, I saw uh, both things. Let's see, and it looks like it's um, broken down by critic 
with with critic uh, critical essays. Um, also on top of that, there are the expected behind the scenes pictures. There's uh, some poster art in here. This is a beautiful book. This is um, for me. This is so a hint at what's to come. You take that picture and this picture, and that is what you're in for. All right. The disc itself. There's the uh, front. This is that edge-to-edge -edge sort of Criterion style artwork that I really love. I love it when there's no Blu-ray up here. Um, the back, inside, the two discs. <coughs> Probably not even going to edit that sneeze. All right. So there's the two disc set. We get uh, multiple cuts of the movie, as I mentioned. Two Blu-rays. And do we have reversible artwork here? We do. Uh, it's the same, though. I mean, it might. Oh, no, it's not the same. All right. So we have. There's the, f the primary artwork. Here's the reverse. See that? Slightly different. I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, this artwork for this film, once you've seen it, is so iconic and so impactful that. I don't know. You can't really do much better. It's like perfectly done. I'm loving you guys this case. Uh, again, if you've bought other indicators, talk to me in, in the, the comments. Let me know which ones you bought that you love. I love the edge to edge situation here. No, we know it's a Blu ray. We bought it, right? So, very, very beautiful set, you guys. And this also. Pass the tap test. This is easily as good as anything I've seen from Arrow. Um, Arrow video to me does these boxes the best, but this is equally as good. I mean, it's on par. Um, and this is on par with some of their best releases. Although they may, uh, Indicator may have just taken it for me with this edge to edge situation. Love it so much. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Some epic pickups. I know it's only three. I actually had one more film that I was expecting that didn't come yet. I think it's going to come in my next Arrow. I did the Arrow uh, sale and have some stuff coming. Um, it'll be, I guess the other film will be in that set. So I have a lot more coming. So again, like, subscribe, do all the things. Let's have all the conversations in the comments. Until uh, next we meet, pull something cool off the shelf. Share them with your friends and family and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV. I'll see you guys on the next one.